Hi Scorpio, this is your extended reading. You had a lovely reading. Now let's see whether we can build upon that general reading. The first you come in with is the Queen of Cups. You had the King of Cups. So this is definitely showing me that you will be partnering up as they are husband and wife. So definitely some of you could be partnering up in business or in romance like I said, but this is um, telling me there is a partnership forming, if not a partnering up with the two of wands here and making plans for the future. She's a nurturing, a caring, a loving, a passionate and sensu sensual and sexy lady. She also represents m um, the mother figure, so you could be, <coughs> excuse me, dealing with a mother figure or you could be going on holiday or taking time out with a mother figure. This could be your own mother, your grandmother or your mother-in-law. Or somebody that represents a mother figure. Or you could be finding out that you are becoming a mother. Wow, or a grandmother. Amazing. She's so beautiful. I love the, the angels. I work with the angels as well. Coming back to the mother figure, we've also got the Empress, who is known as Mother Earth. She um, is usually, um, she represents pregnancy, she represents birth. So you could be giving birth to something else. This doesn't have to be a, ch a child, this can also be to an idea, bringing it into the material world. This could be birthing your wish. You've got the wish card here, the Nine of Cups. Watch out for the three uh, numbers, one, one, one. That's a an, triple number. Double numbers and triple numbers are angelic numbers. You've also got the double number one. So this means that there is a doorway given to you, a new beginning, a porthole to step through to a new beginning, by the divine and the angels and ancestors now if you don't want to get pregnant this is the first card and it lies underneath the swords <coughs> six of swords at the beginning of the week then take precautions you could be if you're too mature then you could be hearing of a birth or a pregnancy you could be finding out that you're becoming a grandmother or a grandfather so definitely what she sows, she knows what she sows, so she also knows uh, what she will reap. So take care of your seeds. In the middle of the week, underneath the Nine of Cups, we have the Six of Cups. Somebody could be coming back from the past and bringing you a gift. If somebody's borrowed money from you, then they could be returning that money that they borrowed from you. You could also be reminiscing about the past, thinking about the good days and the good times, as well as the negative times. Let go of the negative times. Also learn from the negative times, so that you don't fall into the same traps or the same mistakes. The Six of Cups means that you're more than halfway there. Again, you've got a double number, two sixes. So definitely the angels are all over you. So talk to them. If you want something or if you're wishing for something, do talk to them. In this case, Archangel Haniel, the Heart Chakra Angel. It's also a very spiritual reading for you, Scorpio. And remember, you are underestimated. And um, I'm glad that I can um, um, give you more recognition uh, because you deserve more recognition. It's always Cancer or Pisces, but I also think of you, Scorpio. I think it is imperative that you get more recognition. Underneath the King of Cups, 
like I said, that he's the first house and he's the first person or character um, in the tarot deck um, that represents, that's why he represents cancer. But don't, this could be you, okay? So you could be meeting an other Scorpio or a, a Cancer or a Pisces. But definitely, I love this. Usually Pisces gets all these spiritual readings. But I'm glad you've got a very spiritual, nurturing, loving reading. What with the Emperor here and with the High Priestess. Definitely awesome. So the High Priestess, um, she, she has all the knowledge as she can travel between the underworld and this world. You can see the scroll. Sometimes it's a book and it's called the Torah. So she has all the answers. This means you might have secrets or you might have answers, but play your card or ideas. So play your cards close to your chest. Be careful who you share your ideas with. Somebody might even pinch your idea if you're not careful. So play your cards close to your chest. Anyway, the Queen of Cups is also mis uh, sensual and sexy. But makes her a bit mysterious. And the Queen of Cups is you. Prominently. But it can be another water sign. But so is the High Priestess. She represents the Triple Moon Goddess. And the Moon represents a uh, Cancer or Pisces mainly. As... Um, uh, I have learned that in my um, tarot life. But definitely there is a lot of water around you, so do try to keep your emotions under control, my darlings. And also be careful if you are keeping secrets. I do feel secrets will be revealed to you. If somebody else is keeping secrets, your intuition will tell you, will give you a nudge, nudge and tell you, it's something is not quite right. So listen to your intuition. It's never out of line. Very, very rarely. So don't ignore that warning. Underneath the two of ones, we've got the temperance card. And this is definitely, even in Raya Waite's deck, it is an angel that is pouring water from one jug to another. In this case, it's cups. It is a Sagittarius that is um, represented by the temperance card. But the word temp is like temporary, tempted, temporarily or temp temporary or tempted. And I always take this card also as a warning. Don't, burn, don't be tempted to burn the candle on both sides. You need your rest. Also, don't be tempted to drink too much. Wow. So try to keep the balance. This card does represent balance between the heart, the mind, the solar plex and the body perhaps. Or between the work and the home front. Or trying to find the balance or keeping balance financially. So be careful. If you are making plans for the future, Definitely take care of your finances so that you can finance your ideas or your projects in the future. I believe you have a big dream. Some of you might not, but not all of you, of course. But I do believe a lot of you are dreaming big. Good on you. Believe in yourself. Thank goodness for that. And people do admire you. People do see you standing there that's why they might be coming back so definitely keep your mind open to new ideas and your heart open to receive definitely a lot of love especially mother love motherly love so i hope you will enjoy your week take care and stay safe and be blessed thank you